Hey, welcome to this uh, shortwave radio tip number, I don't know, eight, nine, something like that, for um, February the 14th, 2019. And today our tip goes with detecting sources of noise using a portable AM radio. Now I've got a shortwave one here, but it could be a very cheap portable AM radio lying around. What is nice is that the AM radios have this ferret loop antenna. That is the antenna used in almost every AM radio that you have in your home. That loop is extremely directional. That means if you turn the radio, you might have noticed that the signals go up and down. You can actually null stations if you DX the medium wave band, for example. You might be turning it. You might even be receiving more than one station on the same frequency. Clearly, because just by rotating, you're giving enough. You're you're uh, you know moving from one station to the other because of the directional uh, capacity of that antenna. Now, that also can be used for noise detection within your home. So, what you could do is go around your home, and of course, just turn your radios. You will notice where the noise sources are. Now, it depends how the ferret is positioned in your radio. And usually, the ferret antenna is directional, I believe, I believe to its ends. So, each end of the antenna is where signals receive. That means you will be able to pinpoint where a noise source is coming from. Even if it's not in your home, I've actually pinpointed that in my bedroom, across the wall, my neighbor has something that creates noise because I can pinpoint that there's noise coming from that side. Gives you an idea. Also, you know what? It's not just for your home. You have noise. You want to know what's the quietest location in your backyard. Uh, you want just want to know if it's quiet wherever location you've gone to. Or if it's not, maybe try to find a source of the noise and uh, move away from it. Well, of course, the directional pattern of AM radio. So any AM radio will do the job. If you've got a, uh, fr a, a, a um, and like this one has an S meter for a strength, that's even cooler because if you do have an S meter or an indication of the strength of signal, it's actually going to give you an indication of the strength of the noise. That means that you'll even be able to know if you're moving away or not. If you don't have an indication, you still can work it out. Listen to the noise. When the noise lowers, the volume, of course, of the noise will lower at the same time. That means you're moving away from the noise source. And if you move closer to the noise source, there will be more sound, more noise coming into the radio. So just leave the volume at a certain level and examine if the noise is, you know, stronger or if it's weaker uh, just by listening. But if you've got a meter like this one, S meter or a little, you know, digital meter on some of the portable receivers, you can use that in order to know if you're moving away or if you're getting closer to a noise source. And that's the tip for today. AM radios are amazing at detecting where noise comes from. If you're searching for that elusive noise source in your home or in the area where you live, why not go outside and start walking around with your AM radio? You might look weird, but you might actually pinpoint, oh, the noise that I've got comes from here. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching our videos.